Hi there. In this quick video I'm going to show you how to fix this error on Windows XP. Yes, there are lots of people still using Windows XP. Deal with it. Ok, to fix this thing you need to shut off your laptop. Yeah, you can give it an OK and then uh, shut it down normally. I do it uh, the fast way. But this thing is a bit weirder. It doesn't have a hard drive. We are booting from an, um, a USB drive. Hard drives for the X41 are extremely expensive, not worth it. So it will take a while to boot. And I just need to press F8 when it will show me the lo Windows loading screen to enter safe mode. So yeah, get ready for it today hopefully and pressing F8 and we are going into safe mode and again this might be a bit slower than on your standard uh, laptop that has an internal hard drive so see you when this is loaded okay we are here log into your uh, normal user again for me it will take a while and again I'm getting this uh, error, annoying one. Windows is running in safe mode, yes it is, we already know that. You go to my computer, right click on the drive where you want your paging file. If you have more than one partition, right click on the one where you are setting your paging file. Properties and go to security. Once we are here, I zoomed in a little bit, hope you can see better. We need to add two more lines in here. Well, we need to know the computer name. The computer name is this one right here. But I don't know if we can actually select it from here. So we are going to go somewhere when, where we can copy paste it. So we go to control panel, system and computer name. And here we have it. We can select it. Control C. I click on cancel here and we have we have it copied now. We go to add here control V and then we use the slash if I could actually see it this one and type system and then go to OK. And we have entered this one right here. We need to make sure it has full control and it does have it. And now we add another one. Control V slash again, or is this backslash? I, I always get them confused, confused, add minis tractors so remember to put the s at the end so it's administrators it's the plural if i could actually go to the ok and we need to make sure that this thing also has full control and it has it and now we can give it an OK. At this point, because I was uh, trying to fix it by uh, increasing the size of it really badly and I think I'm at 2 gigs now, uh, I decided that I should go into the settings and uh, change the size of this uh, particular file you can see it here it's over 2 gigs I will put 512 megs and the maximum 1024 yes uh, you should put more than this I'm putting just a small size because I want it to be created quite fast I don't want to wait for it again I'm booting from a USB thumb drive and it's a bit slow okay custom size let me just check that it is on the C partition where we did the changes we have enough space available and you can see that I was uh, 
tiny bit stupid and forgot to hit set. So, hit set. <laughs> and now OK. Yes, it does require a restart, we know that. And yes, we will restart the computer and I will film in high speed because for me, again, it will take a lot of time to reboot. Well, 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 this fix didn't work, quite work out for me. So, what I am going to do is shut it down, boot it again into safe mode and set full control for every one of those accounts that I see there. I don't highly, or actually not just highly, I don't recommend you at all to do that uh, unless you cannot find any other way around this thing. And uh, for me there doesn't seem to be any way around this thing apart from that. So once again let's go to safe mode. And let's do this. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It will be over soon. I know you are hurting. Yeah, again. Same thing, right click on this. Properties. Security. Okay, administrators already have full control. Creator owner does not have full control. Click it, uh, special permissions it seems you cannot select it whatever you try so all the others will be selected, everyone full control, system has it, users full control. So let me just double and triple check, everybody has full control on this thing and my phone rattling in here and annoying me click apply or you could click ok and it will take a while depending on the speed of your drive. For me it will take ages. And it finished. And it did take ages. And I'm going to go again and see if my settings at least remained but I don't think they remained. Advanced. Settings. Advanced. Yep, I don't think they remained obviously or they did but it just couldn't create the file <sighs> yeah whatever and this thing mostly happens from what i understand on ntfs if you have fat32 you might actually be lucky because it has a different kind of permissions i yeah don't quote me just what i could understand from forums continues to give me this error and I'm, I'm just thinking of something what if it doesn't like to have that changed from safe mode so what I think I'm going to do is change it from uh, within windows I, I will let it load with that crazy error change it and uh, reboot it from normal loading windows not safe mode so yeah I will see if that helps or not so let's try this once more, set, and ok, and ok, and apply, ok, ok, yes, hopefully this time it works. Not working guys, not working. This might be about 99.9% .9 because I'm running Windows XP from a USB drive. But I cannot put a hard drive in this thing. It's about 50 euros. It just does not make sense to do that. Everybody are asking crazy prices for these weird hard drives that this particular thing uses. So yeah. 
I'm going to continue and find a way that it also works for me. But for you, what I did should work for sure. Unless you have a weird issue like I have it here. I'm going to try it one more time with no paging file. Because I don't care. I have uh, 1.5 gigs on this thing and I will only run a single program to diagnose my car. And that 1.5 gigs is way more than that program uses. At least I want to get out of this uh, error loop because it's annoying. Finally I got rid of that pesky error and it's running. So I'm quite happy about it. For you it should not be nearly as complicated as it was for me. I will also link in the description the video where I uh, make Windows XP run from that tiny thing, an 8 gig stick right there. And I also made it run from this thing which is a 2 gig micro SD in a USB reader. So yeah, that is possible if any of you are interested, but it's going quite slow because it has USB 2 speeds max and uh, USB sticks are quite bad at uh, random and multiple small files read and write. And they are really bad at reading and writing multiple files at the same time. Uh, same time so yeah that's about it hopefully this also works for you in which case please give this video a like maybe subscribe to my channel check out my other videos and uh, yeah as always see you in the next one bye